Microsoft Word 2016 Basics Part 1 First Look In this video, we'll take a look at what Word 2016 is, common word screens, the ribbon and tabs including the file tab, the status bar, views, and how to move around the document. Microsoft Word is a word processing program that helps you create letters, resumes, flyers, certificates, and more in a professional looking manner. How do we find an open word? Double click on the Microsoft Word icon from your desktop or click on the circle at the bottom left of the screen and point the cursor to all programs and then click on Word 2016. Let's take a look at the Word screens. The opening Word screen. This is where you begin working on a document. You can choose a pre-formatted template such as a letter or resume or you can choose to create your own page by choosing blank document. Let's open a blank document. First click on blank document. Your document opens and if you want to go back, go back to file. Let's look at the backstage view. The back arrow takes you back to your document. That's the round circle with the left facing arrow at the very top of the blue stripe on the left. New opens a new document. Open opens a previously saved Word document. Save stores the current document on the computer's hard drive or external media like a flash drive. For future use. Save As stores the current document for the first time or if using a different file name so the original file is not overwritten. The difference between Save and Save As? Save As is the first time you're saving a document. After that you can use Save. Print sends the document to the printer where print preview is automatic. Let's look at the document view screen. On this screen all the parts of the document are labeled. Let's take a look at each individually. The title bar. The title bar consists of the quick access toolbar, the document title, and control buttons. The quick access toolbar contains buttons for frequently used commands. By default, save, undo, and repeat are available. You can customize the toolbar to include additional commands. Document title. At the very top of the of the document is displayed the name that it is saved under. The default title is Document 1. The control buttons. The minimize, maximize, and close buttons allow you to shrink, enlarge, or close the program and document. The ribbon and tabs. The ribbon has four main parts. This is where most of the navigation of the tools is found. The tabs contain Word's primary tools and commands, grouping together similar commands to make it easier to complete a task. The ribbon has four main parts, tabs, groups, command buttons, and launchers. The main tabs are File, Home, Insert, Design, Layout, References, mailings, review, and view. The file tab is where you access the commands for new, open, save, save as, and print. 
If the ribbon disappears, click on the little icon with the square and the up facing arrow near the control buttons at the top right. The status bar. The status bar along the bottom contains a, the page number, word count, view commands, and document zoom slider or view. Views include print, read, and web layout. Print layout is the most commonly used. Now we're going to talk about how to move around a document. Now we're going to talk about how to move around a document using the keyboard. In this example, we move around using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Watch where the cursor is. Every time you press an arrow, up, down, left, or right, it moves one space or letter at a time. Now we're going to move around the document using the page up and down buttons. With the home key, you move your, your cursor to the beginning of a line of text. Notice as the cursor moves from within a sentence to the beginning. Now we're going to use the end key that moves to the end of a line of text. Using the control and arrow keys at the same time, you can move one word or paragraph at a time. Now using the control key and the home key at the same time, you can move to the beginning of your document. For extra practice, Try an online class through Midpoint Library's database called lynda.com. And for even more practice, go to www.gcflearnfree.org and click on the technology box. You'll find many video recordings there that will help. Thanks for stopping by.